Well, yeah. Thomas F. Wilson has betrayed each and every member of the Tannen family over the course of the uh, Back to the Future trilogy, and to prove that he is not a confirmed baddie, Tom has a troupe of comedy pals called the Good Guys of Comedy. Please welcome live from the Intercontinental <laughs> Hotel. Be careful how you say that one. In Sydney, star of Back to the Future, Thomas L. Wilson. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Please sit down. Please. Like it, please sit down. You're Tom, embarrassing me. Tom, great to have you here live talking to us. Thanks, Steve. Um, it's my pleasure to be here. Now, you look more like a college kid than a real baddie. What, what, gee, thanks, Steve. <laughs> um, well, you know, I, I, don't, I hope I don't look like that guy that we just saw in the clip. My gosh, that would be pretty horrible. Have a huge mustache and just be that ugly, just you know, spewing mucus. Yes, right. yeah, but how come you got to play baddies first up? I mean, you played a baddie in all of those uh, Back to the Future movies. Um, yeah, I did. It was kind of interesting. I had just played uh, pretty much good guys my entire career, but uh, Back to the Future One uh, was my first uh, big feature film, and I guess Bob Zemeckis, the director, and, and Steven Spielberg saw that sinister quality in me and uh, decided to exploit that. Are you anything like the character? I mean, what do you do in your spare time? Oh my gosh, I hope no. Yes, I uh, I injure small animals, Steve. I uh, I torture my kids. No, I, I'm nothing like that. He's a horrible guy. This, especially in Back to the Future Three, this guy is an evil incarnate. I mean, this guy's the original evil seed in the Tannen family. The the man who took the off ramp in life. You know, these these are bad characters. Was the fourth day, the four day growth? Was that real, or did you have to? Uh, was that makeup? I couldn't grow a four day growth, Steve. If my life depended on it, you know. If, uh, I actually tried at the beginning of the movie, but I grew one of those Bjorn Borg, you know, really wimpy uh, beards that he used to grow. You get about uh, three was, hairs to the whole face. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It, it was just, a, it wasn't a pretty picture, so we decided some glue and, and yak hair would do best on it. So what do you do, Tom, in your spare time? What in my spare time, um, I like uh, reading very much. I, uh, I collect school lunch boxes uh, uh -huh. from the 50s and 60s. Is, and, um, you're not joking about that, are you? That is I'm not joking at all. That is a real hobby. It's a terrific uh, collectible now because all of our moms, you know, threw all of our lunch boxes away. So as it turns out, now they're they're worth quite a bit of money for those old cowboy lunch boxes. I've got Gene Autry and Roy Rogers and everything. I have a Steve Izard lunch box as well. Really? There's, um, and the thermos is really great. Because yeah, there's very few people who collect school uh, lunch boxes. There are quite a number of them, actually. There's, uh, what sort I of people? Raymond Polanski, you? <laughs> right. right, guys who just really enjoy celebrating childhood. What's, uh, what's Michael Fox like to work with? Oh, he's a great guy. He's a, he's a great guy. I mean, we were, we're great friends from the first movie uh, back in 1984. You know, that was before he was Michael J. Fox, you know. So um, he's a great guy who, under the crush of this amazing celebrity that he's achieved, has, has retained uh, every bit of his, his um, qualities of being a good guy. How come everybody in America's got middle names? You've got Tom, I mean, they use all the time. You're Thomas F. Wilson. Yeah, I just changed it to Tom. You know what? It's in the Actors Union, the Screen Actors Guild. You have to have a different name from every other actor in the union. Michael J. J. isn't actually his uh, middle in A, Michael A. Fogg. So, you know, if there's a Tom Wilson in the union and a Thomas Wilson in the union, I had to be Thomas F. Wilson. So the next generation of actors will be Thomas F. A. Bud, Skippy, you know, Mackenzie Wilson. Wilson. Yeah. What, what does your F stand for? Is that your real F? I can't tell you that, Steve. <laughs> Are you a real F, Tom, is what we want It's to a know. real F. No, <laughs> Thomas Francis Wilson, a fine Irish Catholic man, Steve. Tom, uh, do you go to Mass on Sundays, Tom? Every Sunday, Steve. I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Looking for bolts of lightning right now. You liar. And now, is there going to be a Back to the Future 4? Uh, I don't think so. I seriously doubt it. Uh, bunching up those guys is going to be pretty tough. I mean, these uh, captains of, of show business, you know, Steven Spielberg and Bob Zemeckis and Mike Fox. Uh, also, I think it ends up great in Back to the Future 3. If you've seen it... Uh, I saw it. it. Yeah, it really ties Love up it. the loose ends uh, very well, I think. And it's a terrific close to the trilogy. So what do you do now that you won't be doing a Back to the Future 4, unless, of course, they offer it to you for a vast amount of money? Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't take it, Steve, because, you know, that's not like me. No, no you've got to do a job to do, for like... vast amounts of money. I'd say, hey, what about the art? You know what, what I mean? What about the art? What about me as an artist? 
<laughs> to sign it to Tom. Yeah, make it to the Lunchbox Society that's of America. Right, that's right. So, what do you do with your, your other business hours? Well, um, I'm, a, I'm a writer as well. Uh, I'm under contract at the Disney Studios, and I'm writing scripts and uh, developing projects for both features and television. So, so that the keeps Disney me Studios busy. actually in Disneyland. You guys go for lunch. It actually climate. is in Disneyland. You get on a thrill ride, Steve, in the morning, and you have your little office on the Matterhorn uh, roller coaster. Really? That's and, incredible. And you go on there, and, and Mickey Mouse is kind of a big producer, and he yells at people. And that is incredible. And, and the submarine. He a big cigar Northwest? behind the scenes. Hey, get me this guy on the phone, you know. <laughs> and do Actually, it's a big studio. I have an office. I have an assistant named Brad, who I don't really know what Brad's supposed to do, so Brad kind of just pe pokes his head in my office and says, anything? <laughs> I don't know, Brad. <laughs> Go take a jog around. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you to do. What's Brad supposed to be doing? Brad's supposed to be uh, my assistant and doing all my correspondence and taking down all my dictation <laughs> and things like that, but I kind of I just write with a big crayon, I'll be honest with you. I just kind of, you know, draw with a big sort of pencil and everything. It's, you know, Brad has nothing to do. So Brad just hangs around Adventureland and, you know, the happiest kingdom yeah, of the world. Brad has a very, very good tan. <laughs> and he's in amazing physical condition. So, uh, I don't know. I don't think he's working that hard. Uh, Tom, you are at the Intercontinental. The a beautiful bit of, uh, Intercontinental Hotel. A bit of babble in the background. What's, uh, what's the noise? Is, is it a piano It's just bar? a celebration of world peace that I'm heading, Steve. Right. Uh, as an American ambassador of goodwill. Mm -hmm. So everyone is kind of uh, just celebrating uh, my appearance here in Sydney. And as you can see, they're choked with emotion. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think this man's Bob Hoskins' brother, this guy on the left. <laughs> That's Bob Hoskins, a yes! A bit fitter than Bob Hoskins. Just a bit more fit than Bob Hoskins, but I, no, I loved you and Mona Lisa. Excellent film. Excellent work. What else have we got around there, Tom? Uh, well, let's, let's get up Let's just have a look, Tom. Tom is now taking us around the foyer of the Indus. I haven't seen this before. This, is, this was just placed here. Let me see the... There's a note on it. A huge floral arrangement. To Tom, love, SB. Ah, oh, two big X's. Look at that. Tom, I'm just, uh, I'm glad you got it. A 15-foot arrangement of flowers. You are something else, buddy, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm getting misty on you, Steve. I... <laughs> We've got a fine Tom, pianist over here. Tommy, what else have we got there, son? Uh, can we, we just... We've got a fine piano. With... Hello, how are you? Well, thank you. What is your name? Valdemar. V oh, Valdemar. Valdemar. Now, is this, is this one name, or do you have a last name, or is that, it kind of... That's my first name. My ah. first name is Liz. Ah, but Liz. it's kind of like Liberace. <laughs> Cher. <laughs> Valdemar. And that's Val great. Uh, have you got any requests for Valdemar here? Can we, can we ask our audience whether... No, no, we don't want a song. Oh, you know what? I met, I met, a, I met a, a lady here in Australia, and her name is Sue, and her grandmother is Vi. She's 79 years old. Happy birthday, Vi. 79. How about that, Steve? Steve, now you're... You're how old? Now, wait a minute. You're, you're what, 50? I'm 50, 51? 51-ish, yeah. yeah. Tommy? You look, you look good for 51. Yeah, I'm Philly. The, 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 the lift's gone well. It's, uh, it's coming together pretty well. Good. You should Don't have, have it before. lifted too much, because you can't close your mouth. Okay. <laughs> well, let me sit here with Valdemar. Do, oh, you have a pianist over there, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we do, actually. Uh, Tom, what, let's... Do, let's uh, Paul? Oh, yes, Steve. Valdemar's playing the piano. Yes, he is. Uh, can we play a... <laughs> well, uh, very sharp. That pianist over there, very sharp. He's right on. He's, uh, we'll play out to the break. Valdemar and Paul will play out to the break together. Tom, What's we'll be song? back Wait. after the break. Don't Terrific. move, Tom. Do not move. migrant sufferers. Beautiful music, Tom. Beautiful Excellent. music. Thanks, Steve. Tom, you are one talented son of a gun. Look at that. Thomas F. Wilson. And uh, no, it's, it's Valamir, isn't it, or Vladimir? Val Steve. Hey, sorry. Valdemar. Valdemar. Remember that name. Valdemar. You're going to be Cher. doing a lot more of Valdemar. Valdemar. Hey, Tom, when are you going home? 
I'm uh, actually uh, going home after a few weeks. This is a whirlwind tour. I'm going uh, from Tokyo, um, I mean from here to Tokyo, then to London and Paris, and then back to good old L.A. Then back to L.A. Then back to LA. Back to Disneyland, back to Dumbo. Back to, the, back to Dumbo and, and Mickey Mouse, the heads of the studio. you got you got kids, haven't you, Tom? T oh, I've got two. I've got two. Do they enjoy Disneyland? Oh, they enjoy it very much, very much. They're very young. One of them's 11 months old. Two girls, Anime and Emily. Do you want to send them a cheerio, Tom?